it was quite evident from the start that the men were in the minority in this one and the few who took up the challenge had their work cut out for them against this bevy of female bodies. Actually, when you look back at it, this is par for the course as the women always outnumbered the men multiple times over and this was more of the same again this year even though you must tip your hats to the efforts of Kareem Simon of Answer Finance and Christian Emmanuel of First Citizens. So, as the instructors used their bodies and movement to issue instructions for the group to follow, the pattern was set and the stronger ones would survive as the pace picked up. But to their credit, a fair number survived through most of the early period, including former champion Marlon Marquez. But once the tempo and degree of difficulty of the exercise increased, the numbers started to go down rather quickly. All the same, those on the floor were giving it their best shot straining every muscle as they tried to block out the pain, all the while keeping their eyes on the instructors and trying their best to duplicate the movement from the stage. Easier said than done at times, which can cost you as the eagle-eyed officials were only too willing to show off their tennis rackets, paddles, yellow, green and then red to go. But even as the darkness set in as the sun went down on Port of Spain, the music seemed to get louder and louder as the exercises and the movement got harder and harder, an expected correlation in this kind of an atmosphere. And as the group got whittled down, the movement was more economical now as the preservation of energy set in for those desirous of going deep into the competition. Soon enough, there were just six left with Marquis looking set for the long haul and carrying the torch for the brothers and doing a good job among the domineering ladies. Just look at the concentration and focus as we were down to the nitty gritty now where the officials can spot any flaw in the routine which can cost you dearly. A warning here and another there only served to make things more interesting and soon enough there were just four left. So as we got to the business end of the competition now the instructors were not holding back and asking some serious questions of the remaining competitors as if to say you have to earn it today. And that was the cue for Annette Richardson to take her exit having had enough around the hour mark and four became three, leaving two females defending champion Cherise Oliver and Kelsey Devines to battle Marlon Marquis for the top prize much to the delight of their adoring fans. Then a moment of controversy as the red paddle was shown here to Oliver at about 1.11.48 but somehow she was allowed to stay on the course despite two previous warnings at 49 minutes and 1 hour and 6 minutes but she survived to carry on as the music went right up now as the competitors were running on fumes. But there was no mistake this time as red meant adios for Marquis at 1 hour 12 minutes and 45 seconds and there were only two ladies left to battle it out. Who would it be as Kelsey Devines of Answer Finance and Oliver of Sajiko went head to head, figuratively speaking that is, as they were really side by side keeping focus straight ahead at the instructor who must have been public enemy number one at this stage as the lactic acid was building up and any exaggerated movement was accompanied by pain and fatigue. Eventually, the battle ended when another red paddle was shown to Oliver at 1.13.47 and we had our winner and deservedly so for Devines, the new champion after a fifth place finish last year. A popular choice indeed and the supporters let everyone know that they approved of this choice, especially after the little mix-up which should have been a straight battle between Devines and Marquis in the end. But it's congratulations to all of the participants and more so to the winner for a job well done. Ruskin Mark, C Sports Extra.